So instead of passing in a string as the value for the style method, what we can also do is pass in a function so that we can change the style based on the value of the item in the array. So in this example, what if we wanted to change the color based on whether the things in the list were animals or not, we could give it a function to do this. So we'd call the style method and then as before, we would give the keys, which would be color. But as a second argument, we would pass in a function instead. And then we can use logic on the items in the array to change what we return. So let's say that if it's either dogs or other cats that we want to make the text red. So we would do if item is equal to dogs or item is equal to other cats then we can return red like so and if not then return green so as you can see here it'll apply the logic to each item that it receives and it will change the style based on that so in this example it basically says that you would pass in the key here and then you would run some logic inside your function that returns a color based on a condition. And it's not limited to just the tech color. Again, we can do it for any method. So we could use capitalize, for example, and only capitalize the dog in this case. Now, what we can what we need to do for this challenge is we need to add the style and set the style based on whether the number in the array is greater than 20 or equal to 20 or less than 20. So what we can do is we can first call the style method then as the first argument give it the property that we want to change so that would be color in this case and next we need to give it a function to run on each of these numbers to change the style, well, specifically the color based on the value in the array. So what we can do is we can say if item is less than 20, then return red, or else, we don't even need the else really, return green. So for all the values less than 20 now, the color has been changed to red. And for all the values greater than or equal to 20, it's in green now. And that should be all we need to pass this test. So I'm going to run it now. And it's worked.